Hello and welcome to Tips and Tricks from Microsoft Live at EDU. My name is Evan Archella and I'd like to talk to you about co-authoring in Microsoft Office Web Apps on SkyDrive. We've talked a little bit about Microsoft Office Web Apps in some earlier screencasts. Talked about the reading mode, the editing mode for Word and for PowerPoint Web App. I'm going to show you something today with Excel Web App that's a little bit different. Here I have a group project folder that I've created. I've given a couple of people some permission to this folder and we've uploaded the document that we want to work with. If I was to hover over this folder and then select Edit in Browser, you will see the edit mode of the Excel Web App. Now like PowerPoint, like Word, what you have here is very similar to the full applications. You can see the ribbon across the top with different commands for working with this data. What's unique about Excel, however, is an ability that we call co-authoring. What that means is that I can be working on the same Excel file at the same time as other people and our changes will be reflected with each other in pretty close to real time. Word and PowerPoint do not feature co-authoring in the web app version. Excel and OneNote, which I'll show you in a couple of minutes, do feature the co-authoring. How it works is if I'm in a file with other people at the same time, in Excel you'll see at the bottom right it says two people editing. And that would be reflective of how many people were in the application at the same time or in the file. So it could be three, four, five different people. If I click this, I'll see who those people are within the document at this particular time. Now let's say, for example, I go to Greenwood High School. And in Greenwood, I am taking these weather readings that we're going to analyze at the end of a particular period of time. So I'm going to go out, take my readings, come in here and input them into the Greenwood field. Well, my friend Sanjay goes to Central High School. He's also taking his readings. So he's in the document and he can be at Central High. You'll notice here in just a second, he's putting in his information from Central High at the same time that I'm in the document, putting in my information for Greenwood. So we can co-author this and the changes are going to reflect for each of us in pretty close to real time. That's a capability that's available for you in the Excel web app and also in the OneNote web app. Let me show you what the OneNote experience would look like. You close out of the Excel web app come back up to the office homepage. Uh, here if I click view all it will actually show me an all up view of my folders so I can see all of the different folders. You'll actually see kind of a standalone OneNote document here. Uh, this is the root level of your SkyDrive and I mentioned in an earlier webcast about sharing folders that all of your permissions they roll downhill. So if you have a public folder or you have my group project folder here, I set permissions for that for however many users I want and that governs the entire folder. If you want to share just an individual file, you can create that file or, or upload it here to the root level and that root level file will be the file that's that that you're able to actually share just by itself. So without having to share the entire folder, you can share just a particular file. Now this is a lesson planner. This is a OneNote document. I'm going to share this root level file by going in and editing permissions. I'll leave it at just me, but I'm going to go ahead and put Sanjay's name here, his email address, under specific people. Now you're typically going to want to copy and paste email addresses from Outlook Live because that's where your contact information is, that's where your address list is. You're going to want to keep that open in a separate tab so you can get back and forth to that information pretty easily. You can then decide, does the person need to view or edit the information? Once you've made that determination, you can go ahead and save it and sometimes it will offer to send you a notification. This is kind of similar to the send the link functionality we talked about in the sharing folders. You really want to skip this because the Outlook Live closed campus policies are likely going to block this email from coming through. So if I skip it, the better thing to do is to go ahead and use the get a link functionality. Get a link will allow me to copy and paste a link to this folder take it over into my other tab in Outlook Live and put it in an email message there so that it's all sending from within our own school domain. That's the better way to go about sharing that link. Now once I've got that done, I can go ahead and edit this within the browser. Now this is a lesson plan. So let's say myself and some other English teachers from across the, the uh, district or across the state are going to get together. We're going to work on a plan for this school year. Well, I can begin working in this 
and as I'm typing information within OneNote, my friend Sanjay is at another school somewhere also adding information to this lesson plan. If I go up to View, if I go to Show Authors, you can actually see all of the people that are putting data into this particular notebook. And if I go to page versions as well, I can even go back to older versions of the note pages and be able to restore those up over new versions. So co-authoring in OneNote, very similar to what you see in Excel, where you can work on that with other people at the same time, and the changes reflect in pretty close to real time across all of the users within that particular file. Let me give you some information here for uh, more resources. You can go to the Live at EDU website, learn more about the program. Help.outlook.com is a good resource for Outlook Live if you're using the Outlook Live technology as well. And if you go to Bing, do a search for Office Web Apps Product Guide, you'll get a nice document that will go through all of the different web apps and all of the features that are available in each. Word and PowerPoint do not have co-authoring in the browser but Excel and OneNote do. And you'll be able to learn a little bit more about how that information, uh, how that functionality works within each of those apps. I look forward to having you on another screencast.